Christian, the World Cup, your, your extended tour of England continues as a coach. How confident are you, Tonga, can go all the way? Oh, look, I'm extremely confident in this group. We've put together an exceptional group of men, an ex exceptional group of players, and they have to have looked through the squad. Every player is playing in our role, playing Super League on a really consistent basis, bar one, and that's something we've never had before. We've, we've had to uh, draw young guys in, we've had to draw from New South Wales Cup and Queensland Cup in the past, and this year we're a lot more experienced in terms of playing at the top level. So that gives us a real confidence, gives us a real class, but what we also know is we've got a lot of hard work we've got to do, and there's some great teams, and, and uh, we're not going to look any further than the, the great team that we're going to play next Tuesday, which is PNG. You were the hunters before now, you're the hunters. You know, everyone's talking about Tonga. What's that like, you know, coming into the World Cup? Yeah, look, we, we realise there's some expectation there and we're very comfortable with that. Uh, we look across our squad and, and I think we're, uh, we deserve to have some expectation on us. And the players are comfortable with that. We're very confident in our ability and uh, yeah, we're going to go and back, and set, back ourselves. Would it be fair to say that in the past Tonga have had to play players out of position, but now you're going to have some selection choices? We're definitely going to have some selection choices, yeah, and um, yeah, we, we probably have had to play players out of position. If you look in the mid-year test, we played Katoni Sags at six. Uh, if I look at uh, 2019, we played John Asiata uh, at six as well, and that's always been a bit of a trouble area for us, so to speak, that six and seven, but I think we're really well off there at the moment. Young Junior Amoni's come through and played exceptional for um, St. George this year. Tui Lola here is the, the fittest and played the most consistent that I've seen him play uh, for Huddersfield. And, you know, I think when he played for Huddersfield, they were a very dangerous team. When he didn't play, they, uh, they, they, they struggled to find points a little bit more. And uh, he's, he's, he's such a crucial player for them. And uh, I'm really excited about young Isaiah Katoa. Uh, he hasn't played, played in a role of Super League, but he's, uh, he's, he's been exceptional in the uh, New South Wales Cup. He's uh, uh, taken his Jersey flag team to, um, uh, to a premiership. And, um, I was just questioning what the competition was called. I think I've got that one right. I think it's still playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Jersey Fleet. Um, so uh, he's an exceptional young talent. He's going to put some pressure on other guys. Do you draw on 2017 and what happened and the heartbreak of how that ended, or is that forgotten now? It's a long time ago, to be honest. It's, you know, it's five years ago. and uh, It's something that you know, I was really proud to be a part of, and there's a, a large number of players still involved that are really proud to have been a part of it. And, just everything that came with that game, the atmosphere was unbelievable. The Tongan fans, um, uh, Diana Jane singing the national anthem, which was a, a real iconic moment. The, you know, the, the footage of the king uh, being, being present that day. There's so many things that I remember forever, uh, but none, none more so than uh, the look of the stadium and to see a red. And it was absolutely unbelievable to walk into and you get, you get cut the atmosphere. But we're a very new team. Uh, we've got a lot of players that have transitioned on and a lot of new players that have come in and. Yeah, they want to make their own legacy, they want to put their own footprint here and they've got the potential to do that. I spoke to Bonnie before the grand final and he said you're basically half Tongan now. How does a bloke from Mount Isa kind of, I guess, embrace that culture? Because you are, you know, you fully embrace it, you, you know, you've really taken on what it means to be Tongan and you know, their culture and their values. Yeah, look, they're a group of men that are very close to my heart, to be honest with you. And I've known guys like Jason, uh, Jason Tomololo, um, the, the Pangai family, uh, other Tonga families, uh, I've known Joseph since he moved to the country at 13, 14, so uh, him and his family and uh, you know, the way they treat my family, the way they accept my family, um, it's unbelievable to be a part of and um, you know, when I've been involved for as long as I have, you, you do go very close to the players, you do go very close to the culture and I've been, uh, there's some, some people on staff that I consider you know, very, very close friends and uh, the people I trust. Uh, the people I've been involved with for a long time and the people that want to go and take the family to visit different times as well when we, when we do get back to that part of the world. So, uh, you know, I'm very proud and very privileged to be a part of the tournament team and be able to play the role I do with a, an exceptional group of men. I mean, three grand final wins in a row. World Cup win it looked pretty good on the CV. I think maybe Wayne will be assisting you and all around. <laughs> Yeah, I've said before, it's not, you know, it's not about us as coaches, yeah. it's not about our CVs, it's about what the players do. And uh, yeah, I was very, very fortunate to, to work with a, an exceptional group of men at St Helens and a group of men that just wanted to work extremely hard and won competitions on the fact that they work harder than other people. And now I'm uh, involved with a different team that I see a lot of similarities in. You know, this group of men make sacrifice to be a part of Tonga, the same as St Helens players make sacrifice to remain at St Helens. And, uh, they're both working class, we both come from very working class sort of origins and 
uh, both very proud and very passionate about what they represent and you know, that's great to be a part of and you know, the way the Tonga men carry themselves as men, the way they play, the exceptional class and talent they've got, as I said, it's a privilege to be a part of them.